Well, hello there, and welcome back to Wet Lines. You join me, Ian Baker, down on the bank for another product review. Today we're going to be looking at continuing our series of New Direction Tackle. And we're going to be looking at a New Direction heated sleeping bag. So I've got my current sleeping system here. I think it's the Tracker Oval system. I'm going to leave my sleeping bag on it because it's always nice to double up. And I've been using this for the last two days. Just put on straight on top of this one, just to show the versatility and ease of how it's set up and used. So we're gonna have a little go at it, unpack it, put it on the bed, show you what it's all about, and break it down. Let's get on with it. Comes in a very nice, good, solid material bag this for it and I'm not very good at putting you know bivvies away or sleeping bags back in bags because they're normally very small but as you can see I've put that back in there and it went back in there lovely and easy so credit to the bag first of all plenty of space in there as you can see so we'll whack that out there get rid of this and here we have sleeping bag itself. A lovely wide, long, beautiful sleeping bag to be fair. Okay, so I'm just going to flip the sleeping bag over just so you can see the what's underneath. This is what you use to secure it to your current bag. So you obviously got a flap at one end, flap at the other end, obviously it goes on your ends. And then a strap you go underneath back round and tighten nice and securely to your sleeping bag and then essentially that's that's it secured so let's secure it to the sleeping bag right. again it doesn't matter if you've got an oval bed shape or a square one I think it probably would work better on a square one truth be told but flat one I think based on the fact that it is a square design, it's obviously going to fit your regular squared sleeping system better. But like I say, I've been using this for the last two nights here. No issues. So we've got them two. A little clip underneath. And that's a beauty. She's there. So that's all it takes to fit it to the back to your bed system. Again, if you've got a square one, it's going to fit better. Obviously, it's a squared off sleeping system, and I have an oval shaped bed, but it still works. Zip it up, and that's essentially how to fit it to your bed. So as you can see on the inside, this is where the power, this is where the heat pads are. There's another one at the bottom of the bed, and all the power action is in this little zip area here so you've obviously got one cord it's going down to power the heated area down by your feet that's lovely and then this area here you can also as a spare port here you can buy an extra heat pad system to fit in this so you can get extra heat so basically in the ideal world how you'd have this set up you'd have a nice small little power pack or sit in a little pouch this little chap comes up here, plugs in, and you operate it with this little button here. I don't have a small power pack, so I just have this big old unit sitting next to me. No drama. So we'll plug it in so I can show you what's occurring. So once you've got it connected to the USB, to turn it on, you just hold the little button. I'll hold it up here. Hold the little button, and then you've got a little red light. There's three little lights equaling three different temperatures or modes. So you've got red, hottest, blue, medium heat, and green, your low heat. So obviously it's gonna be more energy conservative on green, but it's not gonna be as hot. And then back down to red, so you get your full heat mode again. So that's kind of how I set it up, because I don't have a small power pack. But worth noting, it does not come with the power pack. The idea is, because it's just a, a USB, up to you how you power it basically. But the ideal well way, 
small power pack in there. That goes in the little pocket with the power pack and you get heavy heated. See, that was a short and sweet little look at the New Direction heated sleeping bag. It's available on Amazon. I'll drop a link down in the description. As I say, if you're a fisherman out in the winter, I tested this out the last few nights. Primarily heated it up before getting into it. Maybe turn it off once you're in it because you soon fall asleep and waste all your battery. But the power, cons power usage seemed pretty damn decent. I had it on for a good half hour. Battery barely went down. The internals being all this nice soft micro fleecing, even without the heating, it's so much more comfortable, cozy than my previous one where it's that smooth, silky kind of cool, cold material on the inside. The little magnet buttons for quick release, they work to treat. So if you've got to get out in a, in a rush and you're zipped up and you're buttoned up, as soon as you put some pressure on that to pop out, it comes out perfectly well. As I say, you can buy an additional heated element to fit into this. You've got the zippable pocket at the top of the sleeping bag to put in your pillow. So even on a cold evening, your pillow is never cold. You're just again on this nice fleece. And this fleece stuff is always warm. So I highly recommend the New Direction heated sleeping bag. As I say, I've used it for the last two nights. Very comfy, very warm. It is October now, so it was down to about five degrees. Not freezing yet, but still pretty chilly evenings. And in this, cozy, it was warm, it was comfortable. It's very nice. So yeah, from me and Baker, from the New Direction heated sleeping bag. Keep those lines wet, and I'll see you later. <laughs>